Well, while we are thinking about the snow, some residents in Prairie du Sac are worried about what will happen once it melts. Madeline O'Neill is back from the village where severe flooding from last March is still impacting families. Keeley, the village administrator, says last March's flooding had never been experienced by the village's detention ponds. A study done for the village blames the overflow on rapid snow melt on frozen ground. Water got into basements, damaged homes, and left one family feeling like the village has let them down. While many of us are waiting for the snow to be gone. They're like kind of white knuckling it through winter to get to March again. Amy and, and Jacob Miller are worried about where it will all go. It all kind of just funneled right into our basement, basically. Less than a month after the Millers and their dog Kaylee moved in last year. Flowed up this direction. A rapid snow melt led to flooding, overflowing the two nearby detention ponds and bringing five feet of water into the Millers' basement. Burst through. Through a shattered door. So all the water went in. Which ruined Jacob. Jacob's new office, the electrical panel, wedding memorabilia, everything there. In a dumpster. Amy and Jacob were away working, but Kaylee was in the basement. And at the end of the day, we were just like, it totally pales in comparison to losing our dog. Yeah. After talking with village officials, they say they felt encouraged to file an insurance claim against the village. This was my office. Citing $75,000 worth of damage in June. Furniture and our mechanicals and everything. The board denied the claim in the fall. Of course, there's all this sadness with our dog and we lost a lot of money, but we just feel like the village has let us down. With a few days of warm weather leading up to the flooding, the Millers questioned why the village didn't do something sooner. By the time that they deployed pumps from a local farmer, our dog was dead. We had five feet of water. According to the village administrator, the village board has set aside $300,000 in this year's budget for flood mitigation, including new portable pumps, considering additional steps as well. Kind of going like step by step to get back on our feet. With work already done on the house's exterior and plenty still to be done in the basement, the Millers are happy to have a new friend by their side. So Joan happened because of the flood, so that's good. As they figure out where they go from here. We just want to make sure it all gets fixed so that nobody has to go through what we went through. Now, the village administrator denied an on-camera interview but told me in an email that the village board is considering additional flood mitigation steps without specifying. The Millers hope that includes a change in procedure to start fighting potential flooding earlier and alert residents sooner.